request she would like to see happen. And then I'm going to ask Dr. David Kitely to come up and pray for our mayor. God bless you. I am so honored, so honored to be with you tonight. All right, I'm going to ask for two things that you can pray for, all of us tonight here in Oakland. The first thing that I would ask that we all pray for together is breaking down barriers and lifting up opportunities. Now, Cal Stanley knew me before he was an elder. <laughs> we met in, was it 1996, 95, 94, 94. Oh, my goodness. My hair isn't gray. <laughs> that might be a little help from L'Oreal. <laughs> Cal Stanley can tell you that I have a passion for our children. And so when I talk about breaking down barriers and lifting up opportunities, I'm so proud that this community has banded together around something that we celebrate called the Oakland Promise. The Oakland Promise is the idea that we as a community can make every child in this city know that we are behind them in finishing high school and graduating from college prepared for the career of their dreams. This year, the very first year we launched, we just sent 300 Oakland seniors off, each with a personal mentor and $2.5 million in financial assistance. And this school year, thanks to the generosity of the Oakland City Council, who are here, you should thank them. Every kindergartner who starts in an Oakland public school this year is going to get a $100 college savings account. It's a way of telling you, you, we expect you to go to college. We believe in your brilliance and your talent and all the great things you are going to accomplish. Yes, I'm looking at you. Last week, you were so kind to have me at this same church to tell you also that Oakland, California was selected by the White House to be the very first city to enjoy the first My Brother's Keeper Career Summit for young men of color. Thanks to your good work getting the word out, we had 1,000 young men show up and just that day, and this is not over, just that day, 375 of them walked out of the door with a job. I will keep you updated as that number comes, as that number grows. So that's what I want to pray together for tonight, breaking down barriers, lifting up opportunities. All right, the second thing I'd love to have your help praying for tonight and I have to admit, sometimes you see my feisty come out, right? You know, as Oaklanders, we stay calm sometimes, but every now and then we get a little agitated. And one of the things that has agitated me lately is this idea that we cannot have both justice and safety. We can have both. We can absolutely admit and validate that our criminal justice system is not working and it is particularly not working for communities of color. That is the truth. But that also does not mean that our police department is not out every day working so hard, putting their lives on the line to make this city safe. Both of these things are true. We do not need to choose between safety and justice. We need both safety 
and justice. If there's one thing I know, it is both police and protesters are passionate about keeping our children safe. Both have that passion. And so I ask you also to join me in praying for both justice and safety. Thank you so much. Let's all rise and pray. It's wonderful when churches, city officials can all come together with one heart and one mind and one spirit in unity. One thing that uh, the Lord told us recently that we had no authority in any city or any place or with any people that we weren't willing to weep over. But if we would weep over them and we would cry, of Jesus wept over Jerusalem. And we weep not just with sorrow, but we weep with joy and anticipation and optimism for what God is going to do in this city. This is city is going to turn around and be a city of God. And we thank God for our mayor and her diligence and her commitment to the city. And now, Father, we come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we thank you that you break down walls. You break down sectarian walls. You break down walls of racism. You break down walls of division. And, Lord, we cry out to you. We have need of your help. Lord, may we look beyond uh, what divides us and look to what uh, joins us together in unity and harmony. And, Lord, we ask you to heal our city, heal our land. Lord, and let there be no more division among us. Let justice reign. Let there be justice for all. Let there be freedom for all. And Lord, we just believe right now that uh, in this we can find peace in our city, with peace on our streets. Uh, amen. And there be no division. And we'll understand and work and cooperate and live together in, in unity and harmony. And may this city, which is one of the greatest uh, cities that God has on planet Earth. And no wonder we live here. It's a place where we live. It's a place where we play. It's a place where we work. It's a place where we worship. And we ask you to give us this city back, block by block. Let crime and division go. And just because some of us may live in an area where there isn't a lot of crime and a lot of division, let us never forget that we are our brother's keeper. And until everybody in this city is free, until everybody in this city has equal opportunity, until everybody in this city can stand up and receive what is their just fair due, may we not rest, may we not cease to pray, may we continue to stand together, may the churches join arms together, may we build bridges, may we tear down walls. For the kingdom of God, we speak blessing on our mayor. We speak blessing on her family. We speak protection upon her. We pray that there'll be an army of people that will rise up and say, God has placed her in this place. And because he has, we stand together in solidarity. Amen. Glory. My, my.